All right, so a uh, few things to improve upon with Aki from the last time I played. One is punish counter stuff. So I know if I get a shimmy or a DP punish, this is the basic route to go into. However, if they're poisoned, I learn that you should do something like this. Get the coward crouch into this punch and then do something from there. And I lab this a little bit. I already forgot what it's supposed to do. I think you can do this. Okay, what is the basic meter let's go? Uh, and then from here... Something like that, right? something better without spending bar here? Oh, I can do that. Okay. Okay. So, meterless. It's good to start with the meterless route to have building blocks, right? So, meterless would be... I can do something like this. So, that's one option, meterless. Uh, now, if we start adding meter to the mix, I think we want to go into EX. Oh, that works? Okay, I, I literally was making that up on the fly. So this is doing heavy kick into it. I already forgot what I just did. I already forgot what I did. Uh, sounds gooey? Maybe. Crazy. Uh, Servebot Frank, thanks so much for the big two months. Thanks for building your lease in the dumpster. Guys, I'm just, just playing Aki for fun. I feel like I almost need a command. Just playing the character for fun. Yeah, she has, like, decent corner carry. Like, if you end her combos and the quarter circle forward medium, you get all this screen space, which you can then set up for fireball and the dry brush. She's a little dry meter hungry, it feels like. Some block. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, what do I do here? That's like the meterless route. Okay, but if I. Should I just go straight into this? Seems like no.
Oh god. Dropping ball rock for Aki. The rumors may be true. Oh yeah, true. They're they're getting like repoisoned, aren't they? That's something that I I keep uh, messing up when I'm labbing this. Sometimes I think they get repoisoned when I don't mean to. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I. That's actually what I wanted to test. See, that's complicated. I, I missed that in the lab here and there. If you if they're on top of the puddle, it's gonna change their reps. They're gonna get repoisoned mid combo. So you definitely have to pay attention to that. Okay, th this this looks way more normal to me now. Okay, I was wondering why this seems strange. I had lapped this a little bit earlier. That seems pretty good. It's not bad. Do I even need... I feel like I need to do dry rush into... Or do I need to do dry rush into heavy kick? Uh, maybe I don't. Hold on. Let me do this without the drive rush. I don't need to do dry, dry rush. I have to kick it all there. Okay. Oh, that doesn't come with a level 3? It's actually kind of hard to have consistent routes to combo into our supers. I don't think I can get any juggles after this, after this heavy kick. It's like you have to cut your juggle short with the poison proc um, to get to the level 3 juggles.
At least I can choose. Looks like I can do this and then I can choose what I want to do. I can do level one or level three here. That's pretty good. Can I do it after this? Okay. So if I know for a fact I'm going to go into the supers, I can just do heavy punch here. And if I have driving, I think I can do a heavy kick here, right? No. Done at that point. Is that crouching medium I just did? I do not know crouching medium would juggle like that. Heavy kicks not connecting from what I see here. Okay, so it seems like if I if I know I'm gonna go into a super, I should probably do just the heavy punch one here. And I could do level one or level three. Well, but I can also do this route. I changed my mind. This is better because without spending a super, I can do this, which is more damage for that meter. Um, but it, but I can also opt into super if I change my mind during the route. This is a little bit less damage. Okay, so this would be something like. Oh my god! See, I always forget. I always do quarter circle back for the uh, the ex whip. Just my brain doesn't remember the input for it. That's not a bad combo. So this is if you get a punish counter when they are already in poison. This knockdown is pretty good. And then once again, the meterless would be something more like what? <laughs> meterless option. What would it be? I just said meterless, didn't I? I guess something like that. That's not bad for meterless, and then maybe with one meter. Three two oh three. Does that do less damage? Three two oh three. It's a lot of corner carry. Just less damage. <laughs> This is the, the quarter circle back kick start heavy kick starter is what you do when they don't have poison so that's what I'm labbing here. If they're not poison that you do this starter cuz the best you can get is a jab link after, right? But if they're already poisoned uh and then in that state the coward crouch to punch ender uh pops the poison and gives you free juggles. So, I have been doing this only regardless of if they're poisoned or not uh, on a shimmy or a punish counter. So the idea is if I know that they're poisoned how can I get more damage from the start of this combo?
Okay. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm probably gonna forget everything else. I, I I still forget everything about this character when I get into a real match. 